guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video and oh my gosh, does it not feel like it has been a lifetime since I actually sat down and did like a sit down video? I'm in my director's chair and I'm just really, really excited. I feel like my past few videos have been a little bit more like vlog style and I don't really do as much talking. So I was just, I woke up this morning and I was really craving to like sit down and talk to you guys and I was trying to figure out like what video to film and I was looking through like my videos on my channel trying to see which videos you guys seem to like like which ones get the most views and stuff and I feel like it was all of my haul videos and I used to do monthly hauls and I feel like I haven't done hauls in a really long time just because I haven't really been doing that much shopping I've been trying to not do as much shopping um so I kind of pulled together a bunch of things that I randomly bought over the past basically since my last haul uh, I just kind of like pulled everything together and I have like the most random mixture of things so I was kind of debating if you guys would be interested in this and I was like I'm sure you guys will appreciate seeing this bunch of vintage stuff. So I figured I would just film this video today because I just really wanted to like sit down and chat and hang out with you guys. So as you can probably tell from how long this intro is already, how long this intro already is, that this is gonna be a very relaxed, chill, just kind of like hang out kind of video. So grab a cup of coffee or a tea, grab a snack, maybe some cake of some sort. Um, and I'm just gonna go through everything that I have. I'm really, really excited. I have some really beautiful, amazing pieces. Some are from vintage stores and then also some are thrifted. So I'll be kind of mentioning it as I go through all the items. Um, however, I do wanna add a disclaimer before I even start on this video. There are a few vintage fur pieces in here. So if you have any issues, you with vintage fur uh, maybe you want to click off this video because I do mention a few of them um, I've talked about this on my channel numerous times that I don't support the fur industry as in new fur but I have no issue with vintage fur I actually really love vintage fur just because I love the look of it but I just I can't justify the animal cruelty for the fur however with vintage fur it's totally different because those pieces are already made and there's no point in them going to waste or like throwing them out just because you don't want to wear them um, so I personally do love buying vintage fur so I I do have a few pieces of that in this haul so I just want to mention that right off the bat that if that's something that bothers you you might want to click off this video and maybe I'll see you in the next one um, but yeah I just kind of wanted to mention that really quickly um, what else do I want to say before I start this video um, oh if you didn't watch my previous video I did cut my hair it is significantly shorter than it was before and I am loving it I think it's so cute my hairstyle just lasts way longer than it used to which is really exciting and yeah, I'm really, really liking it. I think it looks really cute. It looks a little bit more authentic than my longer hair. So this intro is already like much longer than it needs to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting out with this beautiful and stunning velvet jacket. Like, can we just appreciate how stunning this is? It fits me perfectly. Like, literally it was like made for me. And then it's so soft. This, I actually got this at a thrift store. It's originally from Le Chateau, so it's not even vintage or anything like it is just from a store, but it is like the most perfect fit. And I think even with like this cream skirt and like a black vintage hat, I think it would look really, really nice. Um, the only issue that I have with it is that it's all like the closing on it is like the little hooks, like, you know, for like a bra strap. And then it's just so annoying to take on and off. Um, but other than that, it is just a really beautiful piece and I can see myself wearing it all the time, especially now going into like the fall or even in the springtime over like dresses or with like a skirt or something. I just think it's really, really pretty. I know it's a little bit hard for you guys to see, but there's like all this detail here at the front. Let's see if it'll pick it up. Like look at how stunning all of this is. And it just kind of like tapers in at the waist a little bit and then it has these little flaps here that kind of look like little pockets. So, so, so stunning. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So you guys know I love sailor tops and jackets or anything with this sailor flap at the back. It is just so pretty. I feel like this whole outfit makes me feel like a Edwardian child or like a child in the 1920s in like a big castle or something. I feel like the sailor style is just like, it makes me think of that for some reason. Um, and I just think it's really, really cute. It fits me perfectly. I actually found this at the their store in like the costume department like the area where they have all the costumes and sometimes they kind of pull pieces that are not costumes but you could use them as a costume so this is one of those pieces so it actually has like a tag it's not an actual costume and it's a really nice soft like cottony fabric which I really like um, and yeah I can already tell I'm gonna be getting tons of wear out of this I can wear this around the house or like to go for a walk with like my cream skirt even wearing it with like a hat like this that has like the long like bow thingy at the back. Like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is my only summer piece that I have in this haul. And I just wanted to show it to you guys. I got this 
like a month ago I feel like at some point actually no more than that I think like I got this back in July um, but I just think it's really really cute it's like a little short sleeve blouse and I have a really hard time finding blouses for some reason I can't find things that actually fit properly and aren't like too baggy um, usually it's because they're from the 80s and everything in the 80s was baggy so that's probably why I have a hard time finding them at thrift stores uh, but I found this little short sleeve blouse and I think it's really really cute it has like all this needlepoint detail at the front which is like stunning it's actually really really beautiful so I'll do a little close-up so you guys can see actually I'll just stand closer so it looks like this I just, I love the pop of color and all the details on it. I think this is gonna look really nice with like red shorts or something like that. Okay, so this one is a little bit more of a boring piece, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway. And it is a little wool sweater and it's got like these brown tones that kind of match the entire like color palette of this entire video. Like once you watch the rest of the video, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's got like brown and cream on it. And it's got like this like um, argyle print all over it, which is really, really nice. Okay, so I actually untucked it from the skirt and this is giving me major like 1920s leisure at home kind of vibes um, and I actually really really love it the way that it looks. I actually like it a lot better untucked than I do tucked in but I don't really feel like refilming the entire thing so I'm just going to show it to you guys like this. So this is actually how I would wear it. I wouldn't actually wear it like tucked in. Okay, so now I'm going to start talking about all the pieces that are here behind me. You can probably see them all kind of scattered here. You probably already saw them in the b-roll at the beginning of this video. Um, but I have a bunch of like really random home decor pieces and accessories and just like a bunch of random things. So I'm just going to start going through them and in no particular order. I'm just going to grab things and then I'll just show you them. Um, so the first thing that I have, I have this. I got this at a vintage store and it is a beautiful little gold lipstick holder and I think it is absolutely stunning. I have two of these. I have one that's just like a simple one, another one that's like three little like lipstick stands and like a little stand. However, this one actually has a little angel in the middle and I think it's so beautiful. I've seen a couple of these on Etsy and they tend to be a little bit more expensive than I would like to spend on a lipstick holder. However, I found this at the Hamilton Antique Mall for $6 and I just couldn't resist it because it is just so beautiful. So yeah, really excited to add this to my collection. The next two pieces that I have are two little brooches and I am just obsessed with them. I think they are so pretty. I feel like I don't have too many of like colored little diamondy looking things for brooches so I really wanted to add a few of those into my collection. I found these two at the St. Jacob's antique market I believe it was. It was in St. Jacob's. There's two vintage stores there and I just I don't remember which one I got it from um, but I got these two and one of them is like a green leaf with like a little diamondy thing at the bottom. I'll do a little close-up because I feel like it's really hard for you guys to see from like this far away um, but it's really really beautiful. I love the color. I feel like it's like a really nice statement piece without it being like too bold. You know what I mean? I think it's really pretty and I feel like this green color is going to match with so many things which you wouldn't expect a green color to match a Lot of things but I think it's this particular shade that is going to be really easy to pair with a lot of the clothes that I already have so yeah love that and then the other one is like a gold red and like clear diamondy looking one it's so beautiful I think this is going to be really nice for like Christmas time and just adding a little bit of sparkle to an outfit around that time of year and um yeah I really really love it I think it's so pretty and a really great addition to my brooch collection so from the same vintage store I also got this black flower pin and I was kind of looking for like a morning pin I know that sounds a little bit morbid but I kind of wanted like a little brooch that I could wear if I was to go to like a funeral or like some form of event like that that wasn't too sparkly or like too much of a statement if that makes sense so I found this one and I thought it was really elegant and really pretty so it is like a black flower and then it has the long little pin there for you to like put it on on like a lapel of a coat or something um, and I just thought it was really nice I actually wore this on my cardigan for the Queen's funeral when I was watching it so I got that like just in time to be watching that on TV um, but yeah, I thought that was really nice. I think it was only like a couple of dollars. The next thing that I got, oh my god, okay. <laughs> so this is gonna be so random and some of you are gonna be like, Carolina, what is that? And then a lot of you guys already saw this on my Instagram because I did way too many Instagram story posts about this. But I got a new keychain and he is the greatest thing in the entire world and I hope all of you guys love him as much as I do. Um, so he is a little seal and he is made out of fur. And oh my gosh, look at how cute he is. I named him Alfred. I had a whole Instagram poll on my on my story and all of you guys voted on what name I should name him. And most of you guys agreed that he did look like an Alfred. So 
Alfred, he will be. Um, and he is the cutest thing ever. My mom told me that I actually shouldn't use him as an actual keychain because he's gonna get squished in my purse, but it just makes me so sad because I wanna use him. So I don't know, he might just like sit in my closet for now. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I should actually just use him as my actual keychain or should I just keep them as like more of a display piece? Let me know in the comments below. Next thing that I have, I'm gonna go through these. So these are actually not a matching set, but I got this one the same day that, that I got that lipstick holder. Um, and it is a little antique mirror. It looks like this, really, really pretty. The reason that I got this is because it reminded me of the mirror in Titanic. Like, you know when they find, like they're like showing her like the older rose, they're showing her all the stuff that they found from the Titanic and she picks up the mirror and she's like, oh, this is mine. And she says the reflection has changed a bit. Do you know what that scene I'm talking about? So it kind of reminded me of that. So that's why I picked it up. I think it was like $20. It's in really good shape. And sorry, that was really bright. Um, and I really, really like it. And then I also found this at a like secondhand furniture store. One of my hairs is on it. Um, secondhand furniture store. They added like a whole vintage section there, like an antiques kind of section. And I found this and it was only $5. So it looks like that. And it's basically the exact same print as the mirror, which is really funny. Um, and then it has the, obviously like the brush bristles on it. I don't think this one is actually as old. I feel like it's probably a reproduction just because the bottom part where the bristles come out um, are plastic. So I feel like it's probably not as old as the mirror is, but either way, really great pieces. They're both really nice and heavy with the mirror being significantly heavier. However, I am looking for a brush that has the boar bristles on it. I feel like it's the best one for vintage hair and it's gonna make your hair look so much shinier and like less puffed out. Apparently that's what I keep hearing. So I am on the hunt for one, but I haven't been able to find one. So for now, this is the closest that I have. Um, but yeah, one day I will find one at an antique store because I refuse to shop online so I'm trying to find it like in person. So I have a bunch of hats. Okay, not a bunch, I have three. Um, the three of them, I actually posted them as an Instagram reel so a lot of you guys might have already seen them but I feel like not everybody on this channel follows me on Instagram which you all should. But anyway, um, so I have three different hats and I love them. So this one you might be familiar with because it was actually in my haircut video at the very end, which I feel like a lot of you guys didn't finish watching the entire video because it's like the last like minute and a half. Um, but I actually did wear this with the outfit. I also featured it on a blog post and it is just so beautiful. It is a cream hat um, and then it has this like red netting on it and like a red kind of pleating at the top and it just looks so pretty. It's kind of... I want to say sailor inspired, but like, I feel like that's wrong, but it just kind of makes me think of that. I don't know why my brain just associates it with sailors. The next hat that I have is a little bit more of a wild card because I feel like it's a little bit more unusual for me. I don't normally buy hats like this and yeah, I don't know. I was just really drawn to it. It kind of reminded me of this photo of Vivian Lee and she's wearing kind of a similar hat, except this one has like a really big feather on it. Um, and it is black and it looks like this. So it's kind of curved and it's like skinny. So it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's kind of like an oval. Um, and then the front and the back kind of like fall a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I'm just gonna put it on so you guys can get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. And I just think it is stunning. Like it is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that properly. If you guys can't, I'll do a little B-roll, but I just think it is so beautiful. And then you have all of this kind of feather falling in front of your face without it blocking your eyes, which is really important. Um, I just think it is so stunning and so like femme fatale, film noir kind of look, which I really, really like. I don't really have too many things like that. So it's really nice to kind of explore that kind of era, I guess. Um, but yeah, love it. I think it's so pretty. The final hat that I have is this little cream one that actually has a, a hole at the top. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is, to be honest, but... So I actually wore this hat to go to Ian Drummond's studio last week, and a lot of you guys probably saw that video, but I tried on a bunch of vintage clothes, and it was just so much fun. But anyway, so I ended up wearing this dress, and I feel like with the issue with this dress is that the collar always got lost, and you couldn't really see it because of the pattern. So then I added this little lace collar underneath and it just kind of makes the entire collar pop and it looks so cute so I just had to wear it for this video um, but on that day I actually wore it with this hat which is the same color as the lace collar here and then it has a little brown kind of ribbon tied around it and it is so pretty I actually love the way that it looks it is so cute especially with this hair I just feel like it pairs like 
perfectly, you know what I mean? Um, I really, really love it. I think it's so cute. I really need to stop buying so many hats. You guys have no idea how many hats I have and I am running out of places to store them. I feel like that's always my issue when, when I buy hats because they're definitely my favorite accessory that I buy. Um, but they're really hard to store, especially vintage ones because you don't want to switch them, obviously. I guess I can talk about the elephant in the room, which is this amazing piece right here. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite thing in this entire haul because it is absolutely stunning. So the seller at the antique store that I bought this at told me that this is from 1910 and it is hand painted at the front and it is just absolutely breathtaking. I am obsessed with this. This entire color palette is exactly what I want to wear for the rest of time because it is just so stunning. The colors are beautiful. I absolutely love it. So there's like two little spots here for photos and here it says dad and then it says mother on the other side. So I'm gonna be taking some photos of my parents so that I can put them on there. Um, however, when I bought it, there were a few little scratches on the black paint. So I painted it from the back. Um, that way you wouldn't be able to see them with the light shining through or anything. So now it just looks absolutely perfect and I can't wait to put this up somewhere. I don't really know where I'm gonna put this, but I am just in love with it. I think it's so pretty. Mm, I guess I can continue with picture frames. I have two other ones. I love picture frames. I feel like not that many people buy picture frames, but I love them. So I thrifted these two. This one I have to put like a little cardboard on the inside because it's a little bit loose, but just bear with me anyway. So this one is gold. Um, and then it has this pearl detail along the entire thing and I think it's so stunning. It's a little bit hard for you guys to see this far away so I will do a close up so you guys can see it but it is just so pretty. So um, I'm hoping to one day have like a whole table of some sort with a bunch of different sized picture frames. I think it looks so pretty. Like think like old Hollywood where they had like the piano with like all the little photos on it. Very like 1920s kind of. I don't know. I just love having like little picture frames. So this is probably as big as I would buy. Um, but I have a bunch of little ones that I've started to collect. But anyway, so there's that one. Um, and then the other one is probably a little bit more modern just because of the frame and the backing of it, it looks like brand new. Um, but I love the inside of it. So on the inside, there is a little circle spot for a photo with these two birds on it. Um, and then on here in the bottom, there's like a square for another photo. And I just think it's really, really pretty. I love all that detail. I feel like in the 1920s or like before, they had a lot of these kind of like cutouts for the photos, which I think looks really pretty. And I feel like you don't really see that very often. So I was really excited when I saw this. It was only like $1.99 or something. Same with the other frame. I feel like this one was also like $1.99. Um, but yeah, love these. Really, really pretty. One of my first fur pieces that I want to show you is this really, really long like fur shawl. It is so soft. Like this is honestly the softest thing in the entire world. I am obsessed with it. Um, the lady gave it to me for $20 at a antique store. Um, the only issue is that I have to put on a new liner on the inside, so there's no lining on it, so it's just like the fur thing on the back. Like, look at how stunning this is. It is just so, so, so pretty, and it's so soft, oh my gosh. I'm just like obsessed with it. Um, so I'm thinking that I'm going to sew on another lining on it. And then I saw on Etsy that I can buy like a little vintage tag. So I might just add a little vintage tag on it just to make it look a little bit more complete. But I just, I'm so excited to wear this. You have no idea. So I'll probably be wearing this around Christmas time or when it gets a little bit colder. Okay, so speaking of that, I actually have another fur piece that might look a little bit similar. Um, so this one is also like a cream color. However, this one is much shorter so this one would look like this when you have a jacket on i feel like it looks so like old hollywood 1920s kind of 1930s old hollywood actress you know what i mean especially with this hair i feel like it just kind of adds to it um but yeah i really really love this i, th I love this little detail here that it kind of has like a indent on both sides i think it looks really pretty and look at how beautiful the little lining is on it it's so pretty such a nice color Okay, so the next thing that I have are these two boxes. I actually thrifted both of these for $3.99. There was one inside of the other, and they are so pretty. It kind of makes me think of like old hat boxes. Like, I feel like, like you know, when you see like old photographs and they have these little stripes on it, I thought it was really, really pretty. I love the color palette. Um, it's got brown, and it's kind of like a creamy, almost pinkish kind of tone to it. Um, and I just think it's really nice. Not really sure exactly what I'm gonna store in them. They're a little bit small, 
for the hats that I just showed you, but I'm sure I'll be able to find something to store in them. Um, but I think they also look really pretty, so I might have these up on display somewhere, maybe on top of my hat dresser over there or something. The next thing that I have is a little purse, and this one is brown, and it is so pretty. It's like a cord bag. I'm not entirely sure what time period it's from. I feel like probably the 19... 40s or early 1950s maybe to be honest i'm not entirely sure so don't quote me on that um but it looks like this so this is going to look perfect when you put it through on your arm because then it just kind of dangles like that which i actually think looks really pretty my phone fits in there which is really really important and it has a little metal zipper on it and i think it's really really cute i love little tiny bags like this i think they're so feminine and dainty and like look at how perfect it would look with this dress so cute. The next thing that I have is another little vintage fur piece. Again, I warned you guys at the very beginning, I had a few vintage fur pieces in here. Um, but this one is a small little brown collar and it is so pretty. So it looks like this one would look like this. Really, really pretty. I feel like this can kind of make any like plain cream sweater look way more elegant and like put together or even over like a little jacket or something in the fall. I, I think it's going to look really, really nice, especially with like a little brooch or something. I love the color on it. I think it's really pretty and this is going to go with so many pieces in my closet. So I love that. Um, this one, I also have to add a little like lining to it as well. Um, so I have a lot of sewing to do. I feel like there's so many things that I have to do little touch-ups on. Um, um, so this is definitely on the list of things that I have to fix before it gets cold. Okay, so I have some four books. So the first one that I have at the top here is Lady Catherine and the Real uh, Downton Abbey. So my dad got me this book. It's actually the story of the woman that actually lived in Highclere Castle, which is where uh, Downton Abbey takes place. So I haven't read it yet, but there are some really beautiful photographs in here. So I'm really excited to kind of go through it and read it. So this is next on my list to read. And then the other one is called Photo Booth. It looks like this. I found this at the thrift store um, and it's basically a bunch of old photo booth photos from the past and I am obsessed with it. You can see all of the little like um, sticky notes that I put on there. So some of my favorite pages. So I'll few, do a few like b-roll pieces of some of my favorite pages so you guys can see. But it basically looks like that. It's just a bunch of old photo booth photos. Really fun. I love seeing everybody's hair and hats and just how like dressed up everybody was compared to like modern standards. Um, I just absolutely love it. And then this book is actually the one that I'm currently reading. Uh, I've been reading a couple of pages or a little bit more every day before going to bed. Um, and it's called The Last Great Edwardian Lady and it's all about the Queen Mother, so Queen Elizabeth II's mom. Um, I found this at the thrift store for like $5 and I thought it was really cool. I looked it up on Amazon and it's like $50 on Amazon so I kind of got a pretty good deal on it, especially because it's like brand new. And it is so interesting to see her life because it's not like... It's not like a biography kind of book, but it does tell you the story of her life through her style and her lifestyle of how she kind of maintained that Edwardian, like think early Downton Abbey episodes or like seasons of how they used to live with all the servants and everything. And that's basically what her life was like and how she maintained that kind of lifestyle throughout the, her entire life. And I just think it's so interesting, like her, childhood sounds so magical anyway so yeah really fun i've been really enjoying it so whenever i finish this i will continue on to lady catherine and the real downton abbey so that is my lineup and the last book that i have is not really a book well i mean like it is but like not really it's really random so i saw this book and i was like it has like a knight on the middle and i was like what kind of like dungeon and dragons is this kind of book like i feel like it was kind of like a fantasy kind of book and then when I opened it I realized it was an old yearbook from McGill University in 1942 and it is so so cool like I don't know any of these people like I don't know whose grandparents these are but it is just so fun to see everybody's outfits and their hair and I just I want to find more yearbooks so bad I saw some on Etsy a little while ago but I just couldn't justify spending that much money on a random yearbook um, but this one was only like $5 and I am obsessed with it. It's just so fun to see what everybody looks like and how dressed up everybody is compared to like modern day life and it is just so much fun. I absolutely love it. I still have to like sit down and actually go through the entire thing. Oh my god, like look at all of their coats. Oh my gosh, I really need to do some b-roll of this as well because you guys are actually going to die when you see all of these outfits. And their hair, oh my gosh, it's so good. The next thing that I have, it is so random and it is a round leathery 
trunk. Um, I feel like that's the only way that I can describe it. And I don't think this is actually that old. Like I don't think it's as vintage or old as it looks. I think it's like made to look like that. Um, but I think it's really amazing. And even as a display piece, I think it's gonna look really nice. It kind of has that look to it. It has a little clasp thingy here that opens up. Um, and then it opens up like this on the inside and it's kind of like a wooden inside. Um, and I just think it's so cool. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna keep in here. I have a feeling that I'm gonna store. I have these brown leather like combat boots that I wear for, as like snow boots because I refuse to wear actual snow boots even though I live in Canada. Um, so I'm probably gonna store those in here. They're currently in my garage and I feel like that's probably not the best place to store them. So yeah, I can probably store those in there along with my like hiking Oxfords that I have. Um, yeah, my idea of hiking shoes is Oxfords because I also refuse to wear like running shoes because they're just not my thing. Um, so I'm probably going to store those in here and this can be like my hiking, going outdoors in the forest storage box. <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, I have one final fur piece to show you guys, and it is a fur shawl. I believe this is from the 1950s. I looked up the vintage tag on it, um, and that's what kind of came up. Um, but this one looks like this. It is like in pristine condition. Like, I feel like this was not even used like at all. And look at how stunning it looks. Like... I feel so glamorous wearing this. Like, tell me I don't look like a movie star right now. Like, this is a movie star shawl. I'm absolutely in love with it. I love the color. I just love the entire shape. It fits me perfectly. And yeah, I just, I really, really love it. So um, I found that this one at a thrift store for $10, which I actually think is a really huge steal for a fur piece. Oh so yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite. I had so much fun filming this video. I didn't realize how much I actually missed just sitting down and talking to you guys. I feel like I really, really missed it. So hopefully I could do more videos like this coming up. Let me know in the comments below also what kind of videos you guys wanna see for the fall. I know a lot of you guys wanna see some fashion videos, so those will definitely be coming. Um, but for any other videos, if you want any styling videos or anything really like more, a little bit more specific, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up this video because I feel like this is a really long video just based on how much talking I just did. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!